good day to all of you in today's class you will all learn something new but before that let us revise what we learned in the previous class can you say what all you learned in the previous class in the previous class you learned about text tool drawing toolbar and about slide pane and slide layout all of you go ahead now and switch on your computer and using the method taught to you open the impress file let us now know what you will learn in today's class today you will learn to use all the options of the formatting toolbar like font name font size bold italic underline font color etc and besides this you will also learn about the file menu options like open new save save as recent documents export as pdf and print come let us begin today's class now type the paragraph being shown to you in a blank slide have you all finished typing the paragraph now you will all show how you will do the formatting on these lines using the options of the formatting bar one by one on the first line show how you will change the writing style if you face a problem then watch the video and learn from it with the help of this video let us now see how we can apply a different font style on our text in the slide so to change the font style of uh, the text on the slide we first need to select the text that we want to change the style you can select the text by using your cursor mouse or touchpad or by any of the methods that has already been taught to you so as you can see we are selecting the line on which we will change the font style once the line has been selected you can see you come to the take your pointer to the formatting bar and there uh, click on the down arrow for the font style you see many font styles are available here and if you scroll using the scroll button by dragging it up or down you can see many different styles are available so once you click on the one which you like you will see the change being effected on the line that you had selected so let's click on this one as is being shown in the video and you see that the change of the font name or the font style gets applied on the line that we had selected next change the font size for the second line again if you have a problem learn to do this with the help of the video this video will help us to apply a different font size to the line that we have selected or to the text that we have selected again to apply this we need to select the line from our slide as is being shown in the video select the line and then take the pointer to this drop down button and when you click on that you see many font sizes are available you can scroll up and down and you will see that there are many sizes of the font which are available to you select the size that you want and when you click there you will see that the font size gets applied to the line that we had selected this is how you can change the font size next all of you show 
how you will make the text in the third line bold, italic and underlined. If you face a problem, then watch the video and learn from it. With the help of this video, we will now learn how we can make the selected text bold, italic and underlined. So to do that, we first need to select the text that we want to apply this on. So as is being shown in the video, first select the text, then take your pointer to the formatting bar and press on or click on the B option. And you will see as is being shown to you in the video, the selected line has become bold. Now you want to make it italic, so you need to select the line again, take the pointer to the I option or the italic option and left click with that. And you can see as is being shown in the video to you that the selected line is now bold and italic also. Again, we want to underline this line. So we need to select it again. Take our pointer to the U option in the formatting bar. Left click on that and you will see that our selected line or text gets underlined also. Now, let's see how we can remove the underline bold and italic. To do this, you again need to select the text where you had applied this. Now, go back, take the pointer and click on the U. This will remove the underlining. Click on the I option and it will remove the italics. And if you click on the bold option, it will remove the bold also. So, your line comes back to the original form. So, this is how you can apply bold, italic and underline to your text. Now, change the color of the text in the fourth line. Again, if you face a problem, watch the video and learn from it. Let us now watch this video and learn how we can change the font color of our selected text. Again, to change the color of the font, we need to first select that particular line or text where we want to change the font color. So, as is being shown in the video to you, we are now selecting the last line of the paragraph. Then, take your pointer to the A option and click on the drop down button. Many colors will appear and you can select the color that you want, click on that and that color gets applied onto the selected text. So, this is how you can change the font color. Have you been able to apply all the options of the formatting bar? Let us now start learning about the file menu. Now, you will learn about the save option of file. Can you say why we save a file? On using the save option, you can bring up your saved file at a later point of time when you need it. And then, if required, you can make changes or additions to it. Now, all of you save your file on the desktop. If you face a problem, watch the video and learn from it. In this video, we will learn how we can save our slide file or the impressed file. So, in order to save our file, we take our pointer to the menu bar and click on the file option. From the options that are available under the file option, we click on save and as is being shown in the video, a box opens up and here you can now tell where you want to save your file either by typing in the address bar or on the left side you can look at the address options and you can select where you want to save your file. Do you want to save it in desktop or do you want to save it in downloads? or say documents 
music, wherever you want to save your file, you need to select that option. So, in this case, we need to save on desktop. So, we select desktop. Next, we bring our pointer to this area with where the file name has to be written. And if something is already written, we can just uh, put click on backspace to delete this off place and then type the name of the file. So, since we want to save it by the name of impress, we type impress and then we click on save. So, once we click on save, now on your slide you will see on the in the title bar that your file has been saved by the name impress. If you want to see where your file has been saved, come to the desktop option and in the desktop you can see that the file has been saved by the name of impress as is being shown in the video. Do you know why we use the new option? With new option, you can bring up a new page and it will bring up a new document. Have you been able to bring up a new document? If you face a problem, learn by watching the video. With the help of this video, let us now see what happens when we use the new option. As you know, we use the new option to bring up a new document or a new file that we want to work on. So, if you want to bring up a new file to work on, we first need to take our pointer to the file menu in the menu bar, left click on that and then click on new. When you bring your pointer to new, another box opens and from this you need to now select the file that you want to open. Since we want to open the presentation file, we will click on the presentation option and a presentation box opens with options available. Just click on create and a new presentation file document opens up for you. Now, if you look in the taskbar, you can see if you click there, you will see there are two options available. One was the file which you were working on and the one which new file that you have created. Since we don't need the new file right now, close it and get back to the file that you were working on. Let us now learn about the open option. Can you say why we use the open option? With the open option, you can open the files that you have saved earlier and work upon them. Now, all of you show how you will open any other file and in case of difficulties, watch the video. With the help of this video, let us now see how to open a file which has already been saved. So, go to the file menu and click on the open option. A box opens and now you should know the file is available where? What is the location where your file is to be able to open it? Is if, if it's on desktop, you need to click desktop and then you need to click on the file that you want to open. So, we have clicked this area and now we are clicking on class 2 image file and click on open. So, it opens a file that we had already saved earlier and there are two slides as you can see in this file. So, you, you can close this now, but this is how we use the open option of the file menu. Let us now learn about recent documents. Can you say what happens with recent documents? By using the recent documents option, you can see the files which you had recently saved and closed. Also, you can see the files on which you had just been working. Now, all of you practice the use of recent documents. If you face a problem, watch the video to learn from it. In this video, we will learn how we use the recent document option. So, 
to open a recent document you need to take your pointer to the file option click there and then when you bring the pointer to recent document you will see all the recent documents which you have recently worked upon or saved in this you can see 10 files so the you click on one like for instance we are clicking on class 2 image and that particular file gets opened and we can work further on that so you can close this file since we don't need it but this is how you use recent document option let us now learn about save as can you tell why we use save as with the help of save as option you can save your already saved files under a different name and at a different location can you say what is the difference between save and save as you use the save option to save a file for the first time however if you want to save a file which is already saved on your computer with a different name and at a different location you will then use the save as option the save as option also informs you about the location where your file has been saved now all of you show how you will save your existing saved file with a different name and at a different location using the save as option if you have a problem watch the video and take its help in doing this with the help of this video let us now see how we use the save as option with the save as option you can save your file with a different name and at a different location if you want so to use save as we first have to bring our pointer to the file menu in the menu bar left click on that and then choose the save as option and left click on that a box opens and you can define where you want to save this file now since it was earlier on desktop we want to change it and save it on documents so we select the documents as the address for the location we don't want to make any change on the file name so we leave the file name as it is which is impress and we go and click on save so once we do that our file gets saved in the document location as the file name impress so this is how you use save as let us now learn about export as pdf can you tell what happens with export as pdf and what is the full form of pdf using export as pdf you can convert your documents into such a format in which no changes can be made once a file is converted into a pdf format no one no one can make any changes to it and one can only read it therefore once your file gets converted to pdf your file information becomes safe the full form of pdf is portable document format now all of you show how you will convert your presentation file into pdf format if you face any problems watch the video and learn from it with the help of this video let us now save our file in the pdf format so to save our file in the pdf format you need to take your pointer to the file menu in the menu bar left click on that and from the box that opens click or left click on the export as pdf format so once you click on the export as pdf option a box opens and there are various options here but do not make any changes just click on the export button another box opens which shows you where you want to 
save your file and by which name. So you can choose the location from the address box here or type it in the address bar at the top. So since we want to save it in desktop and since we also want to name it as impress file which is already the name, we just click on save and it saves the file. Now to check, minimize this file and you can come back to desktop and you can see that the file is now saved as an impress file, as a PDF file. If you double click on that, this PDF file opens and this is how you can save your file in the PDF format. Let us now learn about print. Can you tell why we use the print option? With the print option, you can print out your document. By printing your document on a page, you can easily see the whole document on paper. By using print, you can convert a soft copy into a hard copy. With the help of a video, let us see how we make use of the print option. This video shows us how we can use the print option of the file menu. So to print, we need to bring our pointer to the file option of the menu bar, left click on that and then click on the print option. As soon as you click, a box opens and you can see on the left side, the page that you want to print or the, the page which or the slide which has been selected is shown here. So this is what is going to be printed and by default, on the right side you see the general tab or the general option is open. In this, it shows you the various printers which may be attached to your computer, any of these printers. So, you have to select the printer that you want to use and then below here, you also see in range and copies, whether you want to print all slides or you want to print slide number 1 to let's say the second slide. So, like this, we can type here 1 dash 2. And on the right side, you can click on the number of copies. If you want to increase, you will use the up arrow. If you want to decrease, you will use the down arrow. So the number of copies you will define. If you want to click, uh, if you want to print only one copy, you will let this be one. And then we will actually, when we want to print, we will be using the print option or clicking on the print button at the bottom. But since right now we are not printing, we will not click on print and instead we will just be cancelling this. But this is just to show you how the print option will be used if you have a printer attached. The next option is for exit. Can you say why we use the exit option? Using the exit option, you can close or shut your file. Now go ahead and use the exit option to close your file. We will end today's class here. Let us now watch this next video to see what happens with the exit option. Exit helps you close the file. So go to the file menu in the menu bar, left click on that and then click on the exit option. As soon as you click on the exit option, a box appears on your screen with three options, save, discard and cancel. Since we don't have to save, we just click on discard and your file gets closed. Now, since we want to bring that file again, we double click on the impress on the desktop and our file comes back. Now, we will just use the close button to close our file. So we take our pointer to the close button, click on that and you will again see the box appearing with three options, save, discard and cancel. Discard means we don't want to save. So we click on discard and the file gets closed. We will end today's class here. If you have still not closed your file, 
then go ahead now and close your file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, with the help of the formatting toolbar, you practice using font name, font size, bold, italics, underline and font color. And you also learn about some of the file we know options like new, open, save, save as and export as PDF. Thank you.